Hi guys, in this video we're gonna talk about how to never have cavities again. If you're a dentist, if you're a parent, make note. The derivation of cavities comes from the Latin word which means decay. And it's just bizarre to me to think that a small child or even a teenager that young would have a part of their body in a state of decay. So is it that they're not brushing enough or flossing enough or maybe it's not enough fluoride, right? I don't think so. This is what's really happening. If you think about the enamel around the tooth, it's stronger than steel. It would take something very, very powerful to disrupt that. So what's really happening to the enamel, which is bone tissue, is we're getting a demineralization, which we're leaching out calcium and phosphorus. And the way that's happening is because the pH in the mouth is becoming very, very acidic. The normal pH of your mouth should be around seven. That's neutral. It drops down to a six and a five and sometimes even a four. So acids have the capacity to break down bone tissue. But if we go earlier, there's an excessive amount of a certain bacteria that's doing it. Streptococcus mutans and lactobacillus. So these two bacterias are fed, you got it, sugar. Okay? So when you consume too much sugar, you get too much bacteria, you get an acid pH and it starts dissolving the teeth. So the kids nowadays consume so much sugar, even liquid candy in the form of soda. And I was that kid. I consumed so much candy. In fact, every single tooth in my mouth had a cavity. So what you want to do is you want to start getting your kids on alternative sugars like xylitol. You want to make desserts and cookies and treats out of alternative sugars. You don't want to use actual sugar. So I put a link down below of a lot of great ideas for things that you can make to get these kids off sugar because it's so easy to prevent the situation. So we don't necessarily want to deprive the child. We want to replace what they're eating with an alternative sugar like xylitol or erythritol or stevia. Click the link below and start making these recipes. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, listen, I want to thank you so much for your wonderful comments. And I want to ask you if you wouldn't mind giving me your review on Google. I put a link down below. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you in advance.